I'm down at the engine house in Castletown. Ronnie and Selena with us. And on the walls here, because I stand here a few weeks ago, it wasn't like this at all. This has turned into a, an art venue, and there's some most amazing stuff, and uh, ceramics as well. So you two are some of the brains behind this. Ronnie, tell well, us about it. How did you come to pick here? Because I, I presume it's because the other things weren't available? Yes, originally it started, Paul, with the uh, Creative Network, which we do every year. Uh, it's all over the island. But because of the lockdown with COVID-19, that all obviously was dropped. So this is our effort to show what we created during lockdown and to try and lift the spirits of the community because it's a, it's a therapeutic thing and the Arts Council has been very involved with funding with us and the whole purpose of which is to create therapy situations mm -hmm. for the Manx people and show them the beauty of the island and what it can do for their spirits. So we feel we've done our little bit just to lift the spirits of the people. And Celine, tell me, what, what is your contribution here today? Um, well, basically, i um, got the artists together and um, basically um, and tried to inspire them to say, come on, let's do this, get this together, even though we were supposed to do it before lockdown and since lockdown, and, um, and make this place somewhere that, that people of the island could come to and look at art that's predominantly inspired by nature and our beautiful island, um, and um, also help artists to show their work that would have done before lockdown and obviously haven't been able to. So looking around, as you say, the theme is very much Isle of Man. I mean, absolutely, it, yeah. predominantly. Um, I have found in my 20 years of painting watercolors that uh, unless it's a Manx scene, really. You can forget it. Nobody's <laughs> interested in it. Because you do want to sell these, right? I, kept, yes. I never thought of that. <laughs> but yes, that's, and that's perfectly understandable. Why would people want to buy paintings or pieces of ceramics or whatever which were not associated with the island? And we have so much here to celebrate. And I've been, I'm an adopted son of the island, having been here nearly 30 years. Well, you're not there yet. <laughs> um, picking this location, how did that come about? Um, well, basically, um, it has been an art centre before, and has been. In, it's, uh, it encourages art and art for well-being here as uh, as a place, anyway. Um, so I was just really taking, t leading on from that, what it already had been for the past couple of years. Interesting, because it's obviously a, w a work in progress in the sense that people are working at the same yes, time. Yes, it's a real hot desk area. In fact, yeah. as you come in here, there are leaflets there to show to people if they're interested in hot desking. Yeah. So it's a, it's a funny sort of venue for art, but actual fact, I think it's working because apart from anything else, there's great uh, word of mouth activity going on and they're encouraging people they do business with and families to come and look at it. So mm -hmm. I had my misgivings at the outset uh, because we're open two, uh, 12 till 2, uh, Monday through to Saturday. In fact, on Saturday. Oh, so it's quite a short period there. Twelve it's to a, two. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, Paul. It's unfortunately it's a short period, but I sometimes feel that that concentrates the minds of people. Mm. If it's an all-day affair, people say, "Oh, we'll go down there," mm -hmm. and then forget about it, and before they know it, the exhibition is over. So we're running through right till the second of October, uh, as I say, twelve to two, six days a week, and Saturdays. In fact, I'm on next Saturday, so I'm going to stay open longer. Right, because you need to be one of you here to to, to show. Yes, we not. need to be here to answer questions. Probably People are. There might be one or two of us, you know, even three of us on one on a, one Saturday occasion. I mean, it's not. It's well, not where we're sitting behind us any second now, steam train might go yeah. past. So you get quite a, a, a view here as well, don't you? Yes, yeah, it's, it's a fantastic spot because you know you've got the railway behind, <laughs> and uh, there's a there's a yeah the park and there's a great buzz mm -hmm. in Castletown. And I'm from the north of the island, so it's a day out for me. Well, we'll be having a look around. I didn't want to show everything, because obviously the idea is to get people to come along. And, and is everything for sale? Is it certain things for sale, or how's it work? I, I believe that everything's for sale. Sometimes you get artists not for sale stickers, but everything's for sale. And when you think about it and the amount of work which has gone into everybody's art, like uh, Suzanne uh, uh, Erkdale, she, Dal rather, sorry Suzanne, she um, produces this wonderful silver jewellery, beautiful, beautiful stuff. And uh, Celine beside me, of course, she's a ceramicist. And well, everybody in the island knows uh, yeah. knows um, you, don't they? But actually, another very important part of the exhibition is Val Galpin, who, who's 
um, her, basically it's all about um, body language and, her, and, and looking at people before lockdown when they were sitting on benches and talking to each other and we know at the moment there's, uh, there's a real it's, it's um, a big campaign going out at the moment to encourage people to talk to each other on benches mm -hmm. over promoting this for well-being mm -hmm. and for, for loneliness and from personal experiences I've, I've been through a pretty hard journey the last few years and I've dealt with that loneliness myself it can can attack any age group from any background it doesn't matter it depends on what trauma what you've had to deal with in life so I feel again that's that's very important part part of it bringing people together to a place to look at art but also to talk to each other and this always goes on I mean you artist guys you just put this out here then you're working on your next one right? well working all the time like I'm at home at the moment and I've got about four or five on the go at the moment some of which I'll put into the next exhibition so we're beginning to catch up like uh, I'm in the Man and Art group and a couple of other groups on the island so we've got something coming up uh, meet the artist the art market late October down in St Paul's yeah. Hall in Ramsey so I'm getting stuff ready for that but artists, it's, it's not just about getting stuff ready for an exhibition. It's actually, uh, you know, it's something which is within you. And some days you have black days, like Charlie Hickson, when you can't paint a thing. But other days, you f the creative juices are just flowing. So Selena, I know, finds the same. You're just producing all the time. And sometimes you're on song, and other times yeah. not. <laughs> but, uh, we do. We do both hope to, at some point in the future soon, do um, art workshops for this, for well-being, because we have been given funded from the Arts Council particularly to do these, and uh, I feel it would be very beneficial to try and do something soon. Okay, well, good luck with that, and thanks, and do come down and have a look, everyone. Thanks. Absolutely, Thank well much. worth it, well worth it.